What is going on guys? Jeff here, Mad Hatter's Reef, and today we're talking about fairy wrasses. But before we jump into that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. And kicking things off with number five, we have the Whipfin Fairy Ras. This guy, very colorful, absolutely stunning fins, much as often is the case with fairy wrasses. This guy is considered easy to care for, peaceful in his temperament. Uh, carnivore, like most of your wrasses are going to be, and is considered reef safe. Grows upwards of three and a half inches and requires a minimum tank size of 50 gallons. Now, anytime that you're talking about wrasses, it is incredibly important to make sure that you are keeping a lid on it because you don't want it to get out. I'm just kidding. No, but really. You want to put a lid on your tank because these guys are known jumpers. And if you don't care, you don't care. But if you do, uh, make sure you put a lid on it so that they don't go for lying and end up on the carpet. Check them out. Number five, the Whipfin Fairy Rass. Coming in at number four in our top five Fairy Rasses is the Splendid Pintail Fairy Rass. This guy is absolutely Stunning. I've had a few of these in the shop, and they are a very good representation, at least of what you've seen in this picture, as to what you're going to get if you were to purchase one online. This is exactly uh, what this fish looks like. Coloration is absolutely amazing. And just like your ass is typically great personality, definitely a great addition to the tank. Now, the Splendid Tail Fairy Wrasse is considered easy to care for, peaceful in its temperament like many of the Fairy Wrasses. Carnivore-based diet is considered reef safe. These guys get a little bit bigger than the first Wrasse that we looked at. Uh, these guys can get upwards of 5 inches, but definitely a beautiful fish. Minimum tank size on these guys is 90 gallons. Check them out. The Splendid Pintail Fairy Wrasse. Coming in at number 3 on our top 5... Fairy wrasses, we got the hooded fairy wrasse. Now, the price point of these guys is a little bit higher than some of the fish that we've already looked at on this list. Uh, you can expect to pay upwards of $220 for this guy. Now, as far as price point goes, it is subjective to male or female. Typically, your females are a little bit cheaper than your males. So if you are looking to save a little bit of money, you can get yourself a female. You're not going to get the colors that you do with the male, but it's definitely still a very pretty fish. These guys are easy to care for, peaceful in their temperament, carnivore-based diet. They are considered reef safe, grow upwards of three and a half inches, and require a minimum tank size of 55 gallons. Check them out, the Hooded Fairy Wrasse. And coming in at the number two spot on our top five fairy rasses, we got the orange back fairy ras. This guy is absolutely stunning. Not so much for the orange back, but the purple in this fish is beautiful, not to mention the fins as well. Uh, price point, not going to break the bank. These guys are typically $130 to $150, again, depending on if you're getting a male or a female. Male's prettier. Just how it is with the fish world. Uh, these guys are considered easy to care for, peaceful in their temperament. Carnivore in their diet are considered reef safe, grow upwards of four and a half inches, and require a minimum tank size of 90 gallons. And coming in at the number one spot on our top five fairy rasses, we got the blue throat fairy ras. This is almost the most, or most? No, least. Least expensive fish on this list. They are typically 100 to 110 bucks. They are easy to care for, peaceful in their temperament, carnivore-based diet, are considered reef safe, grow upwards of 4 inches, require minimum tank size of 90 gallons. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this one. If you want to learn more about saltwater tanks and the fishes that we keep, check this video out. I'll see you over there.